Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now I was going to include this in one of my ancient history news videos, but this one I have a little more to say and a little more to add today that uh, relate to some other videos I have made. But I haven't talked about Amarna for a long time, and that comes from roughly 34, 3300 years ago. This is the city of Akhenaten. Not much today remains. A few pillars. Here's a look on street view of the ruins of Amarna. And I did one video a while back. It kind of showed a digital reconstruction of what the city may have looked like. I'll leave a link for that below. But today, a few pillars standing, some foundations of some buildings, and that is about it. Now, here we are way up on the rock face where some tombs are cut. And I did one video about three or four years ago where I showed the inside of a tomb up here. Don't remember a darn thing I said, but here is a look at ancient Amarna or what exists today, not much. Just a couple months ago, there was a discovery made somewhere right out in here. And let's just read. Here is where the discovery was made. It was found in a couple burials of women, and this will show you how one discovery can have so many explanations. But what was found here, it really relates to some artwork on Stella and in tombs. Here is a simple grave where a woman in her late 20s was found, but this item on top of her head, it's kind of become a mystery. I have talked about different things besides temples and stonework and monuments in Egypt. I have also talked about how they viewed things, how they viewed life and death and the afterlife. Well, here in Amarna, they found a couple women that were buried with, with this cone type thing on their head. And there are a few different theories or more than a few different explanations for this. And I don't think they really have the answer to it yet. But first, let's just read a little about this. It says, ancient Egyptians have long depicted wearing so-called head cones but until now, archaeologists had no physical evidence of their existence. Now, two such head cones made of wax have been discovered on the skulls of two individuals buried. Between about 1500 BC and 30 BC, Egyptian art depicted people wearing what looked like cones on their heads. Because no examples of these cones had ever been found, archaeologists wondered whether they actually existed or were an artistic motif that had no basis in reality, similar to people with halos over their heads depicted in Christian art. The researchers noted that the overall shape of the cone seems to be that of a low dome, originally measuring about 3.1 inches or 80 millimeters high and 3.9 inches across. Another person found between 15 and 20 years of age was found with one of the cones. It said in both cases, the cones appear cream colored Spectroscopic analysis indicated that the cones were likely made of beeswax. Neither individual appears to have been wealthy. An evaluation of their bones suggested that both did labor-intensive work and suffered from shortages of food at some time. Here in are their just life. a couple examples of it. A woman with a cone on top of the head here, cone on top of the head here. And here depicted on top of the head, people think these are the same things depicted in the burials. Here is the Stella of Patame, and he was he had an important role, something to do with the law in ancient Egypt. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. But here you see the cones on the top of the heads here, and here is that area blown up. This seemed to come along around the 18th through the 20th dynasties, and then continued for about 1,500 years. And here at the top, giving honor to the great god Anubis, who was at the gateway to the sky or the heavens. I've had more than a few questions. Does this mean there was two statues of Anubis? No, it means a gateway. Over the last six weeks or so, I've read more than a few stories that says, strange cones depicted on heads of ancient Egyptians puzzled scholars for years. Now the mystery has been solved. They were hats. Still, Egyptologists basically have no clue what the actual purpose of this enigmatic headgear was. So the mystery really hasn't been solved. Your comments will be appreciated. Here is another depiction. Was this symbolic? Well, it was found in the burials. So what 
purpose did this really have, or did it have dual purposes, I wonder? These cones have long been debated what they represented or what they actually were. People think they were a wax cone that slowly melted and cleansed the hair in the body as it decomposed. But it says the new discovery, they said, makes this interpretation problematic since the cones are made of beeswax, not unguent, and no perfume was detected in the team's tests. Even so, the scientists noted that any perfume on the cones may have completely evaporated by now. One possibility is that the two individuals buried with the cones had fertility issues, which the head cones were meant to treat in the afterlife. Eh. Scholars often link the cones specifically with sensuality, sexuality, and related notions, as they are frequently associated in imagery with women, sometimes unclothed, they wrote. For instance, the cones have been depicted in scenes that show the fertility goddess Hathor, and in tomb scenes they are often as sensual motifs associated with the rebirth of the tomb owner, who is usually male, but rebirth, the afterlife, the pyramid, here is a depiction, rich with symbolism, coming from the 19th dynasty. This is a mummy of Hunifer. He is a royal official of King Seti. Here is Anubis supporting his mummy. Here is his wife, child, mourning, but he appears to be wearing one of these cones on top of his head. And I have always wondered what these were for or what they symbolized, because I could find no good answer. And this is a scene from the book of Coming Forth by Day or the Book of the Dead, as it is also known as. I have always wondered about these, what they actually represented. So this story kind of caught my eye. Here is a representation coming from about 1200 BC. And it says here, the mysterious cones were not symbolic illusions then, but actual hats. Research is ongoing, but the discovery will help Egyptologists learn the meaning and function of these domes, which until now were believed to have existed only in paintings and sculptures. That is my video from Ancient Amarna. I thought that was a pretty fascinating discovery. I always wondered about those, but we seem to have evidence now that those were a real thing placed on the head. What did they represent? I don't think there's really a good solid answer out there. So please leave your thoughts. I always think it's interesting how the Egyptians viewed life and death and the afterlife and how they treated the bodies at death. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very nice day.